Hi, Nilla Spark with another week in the life of a travel planner. And boy, oh boy, has it been a busy and exciting couple of weeks that we've had. Um, it's just been, whew, I don't know what time of the day or night it is at the moment, but it's exciting. Probably the most exciting thing that I'm doing at the moment is uh, organising a wedding in Santorini. And oh my God, it's just like, I said to John, it's our 25th wedding anniversary coming up. And I said, John, can we go to Santorini to renew our vows? Because that's something that you can do. Uh, I don't think it's going to go down too well. But anyway, I can keep trying. So that seems to be the flavour of the couple of weeks, actually. I've had probably two or three different honeymooners coming in and organising their honeymoons. This is obviously the busy time for weddings. So if you're out there and you're wanting to do an exciting honeymoon, I'm the specialist at the moment. I've just been able to put some incredible itineraries um, together for lots of, lots of different people. Other itineraries is Africa, East Africa. I've got um, somebody that was wanting to go um, to Uganda to meet some friends and then wanting to go and do a bit of a safari and then go to Zanzibar. So there's a trip that I can start off in Dar es Salaam and end up in Nairobi and able to do all those amazing things, go to the Masamara, the Serengeti and Zanzibar. Zanzibar would have to be one of my favorite places in the world. Um, full, of, full of history, spices, oh, exciting stuff. That's what I love about what I do. Every day I come in and I just don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I can be in any part of the world. And when I look at the screen, I don't look and see figures and numbers and itineraries. I just see the person that I'm organising the trip for actually doing the trip. It's pretty awesome. I'm just so blessed that I've got the passion and the love for travel that I have because I enjoy every moment of it. Um, oh, one thing that I have been working on and for families, especially families that want to go to New Zealand and do some skiing, there's some incredible um, uh, apartments that you can actually hire. Um, these families have got four children each and I've been able to get these beautiful apartments in both Queenstown and in Monica. So if you're thinking of skiing and wanting to go with your family and maybe other families together, there's op amazing opportunities there and to go in the July school holidays. But if you are considering it, please think about it pretty seriously, quickly, because otherwise you'll miss out. I've been working on this for a few few weeks now and it looks like I've only just been able to get everything confirmed. And lastly but not least, um, I think I mentioned a little while ago that we're putting together groups and one of the groups I'm very excited about is the Singapore Food Festival group that I will be doing, well John and myself will be doing with Daniel Sharp who is part of the Sharp Infusion who does cooking classes from our home and we are actually um, doing a cook-off on the 2nd of February. Um, Italian cook-off so this young buck thinks that he can uh, pick this old old chook off the perch with Italian food. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous but don't tell him. Okay, um, so that's happening in July, the Singapore Food Festival. Um, Singapore for the month of July has a food festival and what we're doing is from the 14th to the 18th of July we're taking a group of 20 people. We've already got about 12 people booked and there's only a few places left. So if that sort of sparks a little bit of an interest for you, let me know because I'd hate for you to miss out. We're doing some really interesting things. We're actually hiring an apartment where there's a kitchen where Daniel is actually going to be, we're going to be going to the markets in the morning and in the afternoon Daniel is going to prepare food that we've purchased at the market so that we can all be part of that and sit there and look at the amazing view in Singapore and just have lots of fun. Plus going to the raffles for high tea, a special, hopefully this will be confirmed, a special guest um, appearance for um, a really renowned chef. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, let me know and come and join us in Singapore. I'm working on other groups uh, for um, about 50 women going to a cruise in the Caribbean. I've just had a long chat with another lady that wants to put together groups. Actually, this is quite interesting. It's um, her company is called Aging Disgracefully. So for this, Pete, for you out there who are like me, over 45, and want to know how it is to age in style. Um, Penelope is developing a great product called Aging Disgracefully and we're going to be taking trips around the world where she teaches us how to age disgracefully and having fun 
in the meantime. So they're just some of the things that I've been doing this last week. So you can tell it's been a pretty full on week, but it's been exciting at the same time. So I've got to leave you now because I've got a desk full of work to do. So until next week, when you'll hear a little bit more of the life in the, a week in the life of a travel planner, I say bye for now. And remember, without your travel planner, you are on your own. Bye.